May all the love and kindness of this world be with you. Almighty God, you crown the year with your goodness and your path overflows with plenty. May the pastures of the wilderness flow with goodness and the hills be girded with joy. May the meadows be closed with flocks of sheep that they shall love and sing forever. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Today is our harvest festival service. Why celebrate harvest? That is a question we will reflect on as we worship Almighty God. And as we ponder this question, may we ask for God's forgiveness by saying together, Creator God, forgive our moments of ingratitude, all that prevents us from appreciating the wonder of your creation, the endless cycle of nature, of life and death and rebirth. Forgive us <clears throat> when we take without giving and reap without sowing. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our special prayer for today. Creator God, you made the goodness of the land, the riches of the sea, and the rhythm of the seasons. As we thank you for the harvest, may we cherish and respect this planet and its peoples through Jesus Christ, your Lord, our Lord, your Son. Amen. Now we are going to sing together, Christ, the glory fills the skies. <coughs> the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 to 34. I'm reading from the New English Bible. The lamp of the body is the eye. If your eyes are sound you will have light for your whole body. If the eyes are bad your whole body will be in darkness. If then the only light you have is darkness, the darkness is doubly dark. No servant can be slave to two masters, for either he will hate the first and love the second, or he will be devoted to the first and think nothing of the second. You cannot serve God and money. 
Therefore, I bid you put away anxious thoughts about food and drink to keep you alive and clothes to cover your body. Surely life is more than food, the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap and store in barns, yet your heavenly father feeds them. You are worth more than the birds. If there is a man of you who is anxious, is there a man of you who is anxious thought can be to add a foot to his height? And why be anxious about clothes? Consider how the lilies grow in the fields. They do not work, they do not spin. And yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his splendor was not attired like one of these. But if that is how God clothes the grass in the fields, which is there today and tomorrow is thrown on the stove, will he not all the more clothe you? How little faith you have. No, do not ask anxiously, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? What shall we wear? All these are things for the heathen to run after, not for you, because your heavenly father knows that you need them all. Set your mind on God's kingdom and his justice before everything else and all the rest will come to you as well. This is the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be with you, everybody. Now for this harvest festival, I would like to focus on eight pointers. And these eight pointers tell us that our lives, uh, depending on our bodies, can only stay healthy when body, mind and spirit are in balance. And when they come out of balance, we are more vulnerable to illnesses and how we perceive the world. And it includes our mental health as well. We come from a culture where stress is a status symbol. And Joe Ettles, an author and wellness coach, said, we seem to wear busyness like a badge of honor nowadays. Often being busy just creates the illusion of being successful. But how successful can we really be when we are stressed, exhausted, physically and mentally depleted and missing out on opportunities for joy in our daily life? Now, in our modern age of constant stimuli, we are conditioned to want and think we need to have everything at our fingertips and quickly. But by staying rooted in our purpose, as the temperatures drop and the plants lose foliage, their energy return to the root. People like plants can thrive during the autumn months by focusing on our root purpose. It's a time to step back and think about what truly brings value to our lives. It's a time to express gratitude for our blessings and to consider setting some intentions for what you need and come spring, we are ready to blossom. Secondly, to nourish ourselves with seasonal foods, spices and herbs. This is the time to warm our bodies with immune supporting broth and soups and grounding vegetables like roasted squash, maybe dark leafy greens. Mm -hmm. And some of my favorite seasonal plant alleys like turmeric and ginger may already be on your spice rack or you drink it as a tea as well. Harvest is an excellent time to stay in tune with nature or to use the opportunity to realign ourselves. Mother Nature provides all the cues we need, particularly during the transition from summer to autumn. You may wonder to consider to plant a winter garden if it's only on your window seal. Embrace healthy fats like grass-fed butter, coconut oil, olive oil, rapeseed oil, sesame seed oil, Inside out, studies show that healthy fats are a must for our bodies to promote cardiovascular health and keep our bodies nourished. Whether you add some coconut oil to your porridge or add ghee to your morning coffee, it's important to keep your body fed with healthy fats. After 
a busy spring and summer, our bodies are naturally slowing down with less activity and more hours spent indoors. We need to manage stress that helps us to find peace and purpose. Try creating calm. Light a candle or put on a fire. It will soothe and bring back energy. Or run a hot herbal bath, reflect on a day with a relaxing cup of coffee or tea and maybe put a little bit of cinnamon into it. Inactivity from being inside during the winter causes us stagnation of the lymphatic system, slows down our circulation and metabolism and challenges our immune system. Whether you choose apple picking, yoga in the park or hike to see autumn colors, make sure you keep your body moving as much as you can and marvel about God's beautiful creation. And as part of your self-care practice, strengthen the immune system with immune supporting foods, which you can find in our farm shops. Go for lots of seasonal fruit and vegetables, oils, healthy breads and meats, teas and coffee in moderation. It is all produced at our doorstep here in Staplehurst. It is no accident that the days are shortening. As plants shed their leaves and animals hunt and gather in preparation for winter, it's clear that nature is signaling us to nourish ourselves, slow down and get some quality sleep. Make yourself a lovely cup of herbal tea. You can get herbal teas everywhere. Incorporate into your sleep hygiene practice. You cannot only improve the quality of your sleep, but you also wake up so much more refreshed. And harvest time is the time to reflect and take care of yourself and to say thank you to God for all his provisions. Amen.
Let us profess our faith with our Harvest Creed. We believe that creation is a gift of God, an expression of our Creator's goodness. We believe that as human beings we are part of this creation and that we share in a special way in the creative power of God. We believe that the resources of our land, waters and air, animals on land and in the sea are precious gifts from our Creator, to be used and looked after with loving care. We believe that there is a rhythm to God's creation, like a drum beat. When we lose the beat, or the drum is damaged, the music is out of tune. Amen. Let us pray. Good morning, God. Here we are all again, enjoying this beautiful world. How lucky we are and thankful too to you for all your blessings to us. <clears throat> this is the week when we know how blessed we are with the masses of cereals and crops you have given us. Help us to appreciate what we have and to use it wisely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we offer you our thanks today at this harvest time for the many ways in which you have provided for us. Father, for all you have given and continue to give, we offer our thanks and praise. May we never take your gifts for granted, but always share what we have with others less fortunate than ourselves. May we help our neighbours at this time and at all times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, we pray for our Queen and her government. We know that they bear an enormous burden on our behalf. Help them at this time of great uncertainty and help us to do the right things and not over-criticize. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, bless our community here in Staplehurst, our Rector and PCC who are here to help us and all who carry out your work here on earth. We thank you for your love so freely given to us all. We pray for families around the world as we seek to share your love. <clears throat> May we be united in prayer and worship, in love and service in Jesus' name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear God, we bring before you now all those who are sick and in need of your healing. Bless them and their families, many who are struggling to cope with daily life. Give them courage and your healing peace. Bless all who have departed this life and now live with you forever, especially our dear friend, Delphine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Father in heaven, let us be peacemakers, more ready to call people friends rather than enemies, more ready to trust than to mistrust, more ready to love than to hate, more ready to respect than despise, more ready to serve than be served, more ready to absorb evil than to pass it on. Dear Father in heaven, let us be more like Christ. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your dear Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the sort of prayer your Son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us rejoice and pray in the spirit. Be with us, Lord, as we go out into the world. May the boldness of your spirit transform us. May the gentleness of your spirit lead us. And may the gifts of your spirit equip us to serve and worship you now and always. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>